Hey, what's up, Seekers? Wanugi with Golden Dragon Fortunes, your K-Rab Psychic. And we're going to be here today, and we're going to be doing, looking at the ships, the compatibility of ships for Jenny Kim of Blackpink. You blinks, you, you ready? Come on in, you're welcome. If you blinks, you're ready, we're going to see which ships are the most compatible for Jenny Kim. Here we go. I'm your K-Rab Psychic. Try me twice, you'll like it, like it. My name is Wanugi. Oh, just call me Wanugi. I'm a wise fortune teller and a really mellow fella. Ask me about your favorite idol. See their future, see what's vital. Hey, everybody, we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be doing a, a little um, look at the key ships, popular ships that are with Jenny Kim uh, from our other idols and uh, see what the compatibility of those ships are. It kind of uh, uh, using four different ways of uh, doing that. We're going to use four this time instead of three, so I'm going to show you what those are. Um, but I just want to say, uh, you know, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been really busy because it was Lunar New Year. You know, and Lunar New Year is a busy season for me because we tell fortunes at uh, parties, uh, corporate parties, of course, individual parties, uh, private parties. But we do a lot of fortune telling um, outside of YouTube here in the real world uh, with individual clients and with parties. Uh, some of the corporate things, we just did a big food festival in San Francisco uh, called Dumpling Down and there was thousands of people there and we had our little tent and we were telling fortunes. And in fact, I had uh, two of my um, you know, colleagues uh, telling fortunes, Mei Mei and Jasmine. And you might remember them from a year ago because we all got together and we did a little reading for uh, Kim Hong Jong of Atiz. Uh, which is getting more popular now, this group, uh, but they, they were just pretty new a year ago. We did a reading for the leader, uh, Kim Hong Jung. Um, and then we also did a reading for a uh, very popular idol right now, and that's Astro, uh, Astro's Cha Yun Woo. Cha Yun Woo, we did, a, you know, Mei Mei and Jasmine helped me kind of do a little reading for uh, him as well. So, and then I was also busy with uh, another collaborator of mine, uh, Ming Star. Maybe some of you who know my channel have uh, remember Ming Star because she, she did a reading, or helped me do a reading for, uh, well, number one, she helped me review a reading I did. I did for Jenny Kim in 2018, the summer of 2018, uh, like a year and a half ago, maybe almost more, um, where I did a rap reading for her. It was her very first rap reading I did on my channel, and it all came true. I mean, most of it came true, and so Bing Star helped me with um, reviewing all the things that came true. So you might check my channel down below, uh, you know, see my videos and you might look one uh, up for Atiz um, and for Astro, for Cha Yun Wu, and then for the reading I did for uh, Jenny Kim a year and a half ago, the, a rap reading that came true and uh, Ming Star and I kind of reviewing it and seeing all the things that came true. And then Ming Star also helped me on two other Blackpink members. Uh, she helped in, in doing a reading for Rosé and for Lisa. So you might check below and check my videos and see what we said about a year ago for Rosé and uh, Lisa, about a year ago for uh, Cha Yun Wu and for Kim Hong Jung. So check it out. We're going to do Jenny Kim. Kim Jenny. Um, you know, uh, Blinks, come on in. I know a lot of you love Jenny Kim. You know, when I first uh, heard of Blackpink back in 2016, uh, I was really, uh, really taken by Jenny Kim. She really, uh, she was kind of like my bias maybe. Uh, although, you know, uh, it's turned out that I've, I love them all, so they're all kind of my bias. I, it switches all the time. But Jenny Kim was the first one that got my attention. Um, and, you know, because of her rapping and her English rap and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and so her fierceness. And, um, but I could tell she was, you know, she's a kind of a shy, quiet girl underneath. But anyway, what we're going to do is look at 13. We're going to look at 13 different ship possibilities for Jenny Kim. And we're going to look at the compatibility of them and see what the stars say about the compatibility or what the numbers say about it. Because we're gonna use numerology, we're gonna use um, Chinese Batsu, which is Chinese astrology, we're gonna use uh, Indian Vedic astrology, and we're gonna use Western astrology. So we use four different uh, criteria to look at the compatibility based on the stars and the birth dates and the numbers of um, these uh, idols with Jenny Kim. And we're going to do it in a countdown basis. So we're going to start with 13 and work our way down to number one for Jenny Kim. I mean, let's face it, Jenny Kim has been shipped with everybody. I mean, she's very popular. So whoever you like in K-pop land, you know, male, female, otherwise, you know, in, uh, Blackpink members outside the group, um, you, you probably, there's a probably ship for them. I just had to pick a few. Uh, so I picked 13. 
So you ready? Links? Jenny Kim fist stands? Jenny Kim uh, biases? Um, so let's get started, okay? Here we go. So, and the first one, number 13 is Jimin. Jimin of BTS. Hey, Army, come on in. Army, Blinks. I know there's a lot of you co, uh, co uh, fans that like our, our, your Army and your Blinks. Um, anyway, Jimin, and uh, let's see what the numbers say for uh, the compatibility between Jimin and Kim Jenny, Jenny Kim. Here we go. Chaldean numerology uh, has a nice uh, rating here. It's got uh, 85%. Uh, so that's a good match, and that gets three points because it's at 85. It's three points, so that looks pretty good. Uh, these, are, you know, these numerology numbers are all, are all pretty, pretty high. Uh, just the system I used here, we didn't uh, get into a lot of detail, but the way it's working, the the scale of it is kind of skewed higher. Uh, so there's going to be more points maybe on the uh, numerology. But Jimin and Jen, what do you call that? Hey, you know, is there a ship name for this? Jim Jen? I don't know. Um, Jimin, uh, Jim, Jimmy, Jimny, I, I don't know, you tell me, you t make some comments below and tell me what's the ship name for Jimin, Jimin and Jenny, I, I, I don't know what it is. Um, but 85% for the Chaldean numerology, but you know, when you move over to the Batsu, the Batsu, the Chinese astrology, it's only 14%, so it's not a very good match at all, in fact it's, you know, pretty bad. Um, and then if you look at uh, the next one, the Vedic Astrology, uh, that's also pretty poor. It's only 40%. So the, both of those are below 50%, so they get no points. And that's why they're in red. Um, but if you move a little farther and go into Western Astrology, and this is just based on, on Western Astrology, it's only based on the sun sign. So it's not a, a lot of detail I went into because it just takes too long. So this is just the sun compatibility. And that's at 59%. So that's a po positive. That gets one point. So if you summarize for Jimin, he's just at 50%. Uh, compatibility and four points and it comes in at number 13 okay so you ready for number 12 well number 12 I've done a reading for we've done a reading for Jim and you might look below um, maybe uh, six months ago we did a reading for him uh, and this next person we've done a reading as well and it's for Chanyol Chanyol of XO so very popular idol very talented um, Maybe he has to kind of think about getting into the army pretty soon, maybe in another year. Uh, we did a reading for him um, early uh, last year, I think, and it was, uh, we used runes. We used rune tiles to, to do the reading. But let's see what the, what the compatibility for Chadio and Jenny Kim is. So here we go, here's the numbers. So it looks like um, for the numerology, it's at 65%. So that's one point. And then if we go over to the Batsu, Chinese Batsu, it's only 36%, so it's not very good at all, so it's zero points. And then if we go to the uh, Vedic astrology, the Indian astrology, um, it's at 43%, so that's still zero points, it's below 50. And, but then uh, at the uh, Western astrology, the you know, uh, horoscope, it's uh, based on the sun sign only, it's 60%, so that's one point. So that averages out to, for Chanyol and uh, Jenny at 51% and total of two points. So that comes at number 12. So you ready for number 11? Okay, number 11 is somebody who's in her group uh, in Blackpink and it is a very popular ship, very popular ship and it is Lisa, by Lisa Manaban. Jen Lisa, that's the ship name. Uh, uh, by the way, I don't know what the Ch Chani, Chani, was it? Is that the Chani, Chanyo, Jenny ship name? Uh, you, you guys tell me. Uh, but for La Lisa Manaban, Jen Lisa, very popular ship. Um, the number's not that good. I mean, we kind of did Jen Lisa before when we were doing uh, Lisa's uh, ships, and it's not that good, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but for the uh, numerology, it's pretty high. It's 85%, uh, three points. So that's great. But when you get to the um, Batsu, the Chinese astrology, it's 60% and one point. But then when you go to the Vedic astrology, uh, it really sinks down low. I'm not sure why, but it's not compatibility at all. I mean, mainly for Vedic, it's about you know marriage. All these are kind of more marriage oriented and um, particularly the Vedic is more marriage and children and that kind of thing, uh, more serious. So that's only 19%. So it's zero points. 
And then you go look at the Western astrology, you know, Aries and Capricorn, not a great match. So only 47%, so zero points. So Jen Lisa, sorry, all you Jen Lisa fans, I know it's a popular ship. Um, it's only got uh, an average of 53% or, uh, and, and about four points. So it's got a good point total, but only 53% match. So it's number 11. So here we go. We're ready for the top 10, top 10 compatible uh, ships that we picked out here. So number 10 is, and number 10 is somebody who's a label mate, somebody in YG family. And so let's see who it is. It's Mino, Mino of Winner. So um, Mino of Winner, uh, I remember they were sharing a stage uh, uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, with uh, when he was doing his solo and she was kind of doing her solo. Anyway, um, Mino um, of Winter, he was born March 30th, 1993. Um, and he's with Winter. And let's see, what this, let's see what the score says for Chaldean uh, numerology. It's a total of 70%. So 70% is one point. So get the ball rolling here a little bit for Mino. Um, the uh, Batsa, it's very similar. The Batsa is 72%, so that's one point, one more point. And then, but if you get to the Vedic, again, Vedic is really not, uh, not some great numbers here. It's only 33%, 33% match in Vedic uh, with Jenny Kim, so that's zero points. And um, then if you get to um, the Western astrology, that's also not very good. It's uh, 49%, so it just missed the, the cutoff point of 50%, so it gets zero points as well. So, you know, for Mino of Winner, it's an average of uh, about 58% and two points. So that's number 10, number 10 in the countdown uh, of most compatible ships. Now, we're not talking about the most popular ships, you know, that's determined by you fans. This is uh, taking some of those popular ships and looking at the compatibility based on the stars and the numbers. So that's number 10. So let's look at number nine. You ready? This is a very popular uh, K-pop idol, extremely popular. One of the top uh, in, in the country, in, in the K-pop industry. He's with a very popular band. And uh, this is probably a popular, very popular ship because Jenny's very popular and it is Tenny, V, V Jenny, whatever you want to call it. It's Tenny, I think. Most people call it Tenny. Uh, for uh, Kim Taehyung of BTS. So, ARMY, what do you think? So, it's going to come in at number nine. I mean, they're both very cute. They're both very talented. So, you know, dream couple, maybe uh, visually. But as far as compatibility, it's number nine on our list. And um, let's see what the numbers say. So, for the numerology, it looks pretty good. It's 65%. That's one point. And then if you go to the Batsa, it's not bad, very similar, it's 60%, so that's another point. Um, excuse me, it's uh, 65%, so it's the same. So uh, for the uh, Batsa, it's 65%, so it's also one point, so it's, they kind of match the numerology and the Batsa, Chinese Batsa. And then you get to uh, the Vedic, hmm, not too good. It's a red number here, so it's, uh, you know, barely out of the 20s, uh, so that's zero points. Uh, doesn't even make it to 30%. And then if you look at the um, Western astrology, I mean, he's a Capricorn, she's a Capricorn, so there's some compatibility there. He's December 30th, 1995. She's January 16th, 1996. So he's only two and a half weeks younger than him. Um, the Western astrology, it's 69%. So that gets one point uh, for uh, Tenny, for V and Jenny, uh, V, uh, for V, the average is 56%, uh, so, and three points. So it's number nine on the list, uh, the countdown of the most compatible ships for Jenny Kim. So you ready for number eight? So here's number eight. Now number eight is another, another Blackpink member. Yep. So let's see who it is. And it's Jisoo, Jensu. Is that the ship name? Jensu. So, Chichu, Chichu and Jenduki. Uh, anyway, um, so it's number eight. And, um, you know, Jisoo is also a Capricorn, January 3rd, same birthday as me. Uh, and Jenny's 
you know, uh, just a little over a couple weeks later, uh, a little less than a couple weeks later, she's at uh, January 16th, about a year apart. Let's see what the numbers say for Jensu. And here you can see that uh, it's 75% for the numerology. So that's two points on my system here of compatibility. Uh, for um, the Batsu, Chinese Batsu astrology, it's only 46%, so it's zero points, no, no points, and below 50%. And then if you look at the Vedic, it's even worse. It goes down to 31% and zero points, so that's not good either. But in the Western astrology, because they're both Capricorns, I guess, um, it's pretty good. It goes up to 77%, so there's two points. Jensu, the average is uh, 57% and four points. So that's number eight on the list. Number eight for Jenny Kim's compatibility. So number seven, lucky number seven. Number seven is um, also somebody uh, who is a label mate from YG. And it is, number seven is Rosé. Rosé of Blackpink. So uh, her other members of Blackpink, uh, we had Lisa, she was at number 11. We had Jisoo, number eight. We have Rosé at number seven. Um, and so let's see what the numbers say. Rosé, you know, uh, was born February 11th in 1997. And um, Chenny, I guess, you know, for Park Chaeyoung and Jenny is Chenny, maybe. Is that the ship name? Um, let's see what the, the numbers say. So for the numerology, it's 72%. So it's almost two points. It's one point, but almost two. And then if we look at the Batsu, 53%. So that's you know, just barely one point, so 53% is over 50%, so she gets one point for that compatibility. And then if we look at uh, the Vedic astrology, it's the same, it's 53%, another point. And then if we look at uh, Western astrology, it's at 66%, so that's another point. So that's four points, and it averages out to 61%. Rosé's compatibility on these four criteria with Jenny. I mean, obviously they get on great. Um, you know, they get all, all the back members get along great. Uh, you know, they've, they've been living together for many years. They perform on stage great. They have fun. Uh, but this is more of a serious relationship. You know, more of the compatibility of uh, a long-term relationship, marriage kind of thing. You know, so 61% and four points for Rose Park Young. That's number seven on the list. So we're getting down to number six. And this is, uh, number six is somebody well, we haven't done much for uh, in the compatibility list here, but uh, he's a popular idol. And let's see who it is. It's number seven, number six is Got Seven, JB, and Jaybun. So he's number six, most compatible. So let's see what the numbers say. Well, for the, for the uh, numerology, it's 72%. So that's a point. And then if you get to the Chinese Batsu, it's 61%. That's another point. But if you go to the Vedic, it uh, falls down. It's only 40% compatibility, so that's zero points. And But the Western astrology is 77%, uh, and that's two points. Now, JB was born on, JB was born in January 6, 1994, so he's a Capricorn as well. You know, these Capricorns, Jen is a Capricorn, Jesus is a Capricorn, JB is a Capricorn, I'm a Capricorn. Um, these are Capricorns. Anyway, have this cap, all these Capricorns. Uh, he averages out, if you average all these numbers out with, with 77% and two points of the Western astrology, it comes out to 63% as an average and four points. So he's number six on the list. So we're down to the top five. You ready? The top five most compatible ships of this list. I mean, there's more. There's more. Uh, a lot, there's thousands of ships, probably, uh, I mean, at least hundreds. Uh, for Jenny Kim because, you know, she's very popular and everybody has their own favorite ship. But I just picked these. Um, if you have some other ships you want to ask about, you know, or you know, mention, uh, you can certainly make some comments below. But the top five, starting with number five is, and this is a very popular ship. It might upset some other very popular shippers uh, uh, in Blackpink, in fact. Uh, shippers that like to ship this group in Blackpink. Uh, may not like this ship because there's some very strong feelings about it, but number five is Jungkook, Cookie, the maknae of BTS. Now, he's younger 
He's, uh, he was born on September 1 of 1997, so he's closer to Lisa and uh, Rosé's age. Uh, so he's, uh, so Jenny's, you know, a couple years older than him, uh, or so. Uh, not a couple years, maybe 18 months. But, you know, like I said before, you know, John Cook's mom is two years older than her, his dad, so it's not unusual for him to maybe be attracted to somebody um, that may be a little bit older. Um, and so let's look at the uh, numerology, and it is 85%. So that's, that's a good match. That's the top, you know, that gets three points. So that's a good match based on the numbers, uh, the numerology of their name and uh, the birth date. And then if we go to the box, though, it kind of cuts in oh, less than half. It's 40%, so zero points. And then if you go to the uh, Vedic, it's at, the Vedic is at 60%. And one point, but it's in kind of purple, and I'll explain that in a second. In the Vedic astrology, uh, for compatibility and for um, Jungkook, it's called Nadi Mahadosha. Um, and so Nadi Mahadosha is a um, technicality that, uh, based on where everything's aligned, stars, that uh, doesn't recommend uh, a relationship or um, a marriage. You know, especially for Western astrology and Vedic astrology, there's uh, and even uh, maybe a little bit less Vatsa, Vatsa, but it's going to kind of skew the numbers, maybe uh, plus or minus 25, 30%. Pretty accurate because we don't know the actual birth hour of all these uh, idols. Um, you know, BTS, actually I used, there's some information on BTS's birth hours, birth dates, birth times, uh, and I have that, so uh, I, you know, I was on the internet someplace, so I, I used a BTS's actual uh, reported birth time. So I don't know all the other people. I don't know Jenny's birth time. Um, so you know, there's some slop factor here, about 25-30% plus or minus. But anyway, going to Jungkook, uh, it, he got 97%, you know, three points. Capricorn, Capricorn and Virgo. They like to be organized, they like to be planners, they like things you know, to be together. Uh, so maybe they work out well compatibility-wise over the long haul um, based on that criteria. So that averages out, you know, in total to uh, for Jungkook, 71%. So it's a 71% compatibility, and it totals seven points. Uh, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And it's number five on the list. That's the fifth most compatible. So, you ready for number four? This is a very interesting uh, ship because this is some something that uh, really was uh, a relationship. Yep. Um, in fact, if you look at my reading, uh, my rap reading uh, 18 months ago, and I did for Jenny, uh, a, lot of I, a lot of it I predicted that in the beginning of the new year, there'd be some obstacles that she has to overcome. Uh, and of course, you know, you know, January of 2019 is when Dispatch, you know, unveiled this uh, situation that they were having kind of some dating or relationships. And it's Kai, Kai of XO. Kai of XO is number four, and he's also of Capricorn. He was born January 14th, 1994, two years before Jenny. Um, and so Kai of XO, uh, Jen Kai, I guess uh, is the name. Um, let's see what the numbers say. Okay, you ready? So for the numerology, it's at 87% as well. Uh, or it's at 87%. So that's very good. That's three points. And then if you go to the Batsu, the Chinese Batsu, it's at 56%, so that's one point. And if you go to the, um, if you go to the Vedic astrology, the Gen Kai combination is 69%, so that's another point. And if you go to the Western astrology um, horoscope, it's at 77%, so that garners two points. So for Gen Kai, the total is an average of 72%, and there's a total of seven points. So Kai's at 72% and seven points. So he's number four. And, you know, they had a, they were dating, um, you know, and uh, I kind of mentioned that they were probably dating, you know, as far as uh, you watch that video that I did uh, that, that with me and Ming Star, we kind of reviewed everything that came true uh, roughly, roughly about a year from now, a year, year ago, which was a review of six months before that when I did the original reading. Um, so you can check it out, you know, check out my video list. Um, you know, but so they did date, and then, you know, it came out, and then, you know, both agencies kind of confirmed it, and SM and YG, but then 
you know, they kind of broke it off. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of that is that um, I think there was pressure from the label and I think also from, you know, Jenny's family, uh, maybe her mother, to kind of say, you know, you're risking a lot here uh, for this situation. Uh, you know, Jenny, um, you know, I think Jenny just wants to be loved. She likes guys with broad shoulders, you know, uh, like Kai. Um, you know, so she's, she just wants some attention because, you know, she had some things where she had to work through some, you know, a little bit of abandonment issues when she was, you know, home stayed at uh, New Zealand for, you know, at a very young age. So, anyway, uh, I don't want to psychoanalyze Jenny, but I think that's what happened um, and that, you know, she wants to do what's best for everybody. Uh, so, you know, and I think, you know, Kai, you know, I don't know what, talk, what they talked about, but I think they both agreed that maybe, you know, uh, it wasn't working out. Now, Kai, you know, he seems very powerful and nice, but, you know, he he's uh, actually um, has a certain kind of shyness in a certain way as well, even though he might be, you know, he had a previous girlfriend, Crystal, and now, you know, Jenny, so, uh, or they like, dated them. Um, so, you know, he's, you know, obviously comfortable with women, but he grew up with much older sisters. Um, and I think there's something about that uh, that makes him um, a certain way. And I don't know, um, you know, we'll see what happens, you know. Um, but they're, they're not uh, the best compatibility, but they're pretty good. They're number four on the list. So um, let's go with number three, the top three that uh, on this list that are the most compatible for Jenny Kim, the ships that we picked. And this one, you know, this next one is, this person's been compatible with a couple other uh, idols, um, it turns out. Uh, in fact, I think um, he was very compatible with Jisoo as well. I mean, Jisoo's a Capricorn as well. And let's see who it is. It's Jin Young. Jin Young and Got7. Yeah, JB's, you know, uh, you know, um, member, uh, co-member of GOT7, JYP's group. You know, uh, Jin Young mm, did a, did a, you know, show uh, with Jisoo, so there was a lot of rumors about their compatibility, you know, and you might go see the Jisoo compatibility uh, video I did to see what it all, what, what I say about all that. But Jin Young uh, is also compatible with, um, with Jenny Kim, because uh, he's just on the cusp, but he's also maybe a bit of a um, uh, Virgo, maybe a little bit of a Libra. Um, but anyway, um, Jin Young, let's do the number say. Is that called Ginny, or what's the ship name for that? Uh, Ginny? I don't know. Uh, uh, Jin Jen? Um, you guys tell me. The uh, Jin Young is, um, the numbers are, Numerology is 87%, so that's three points. That's, you know, the most points you can get, 87%. It's pretty high. And if we look at the Chinese Batsu, the Chinese astrology, it's at 55%, so that's another point. And then if you look at the um, Vedic astrology, it doesn't quite make it. You know, it's at 46%, so zero points. And But if you look at the Western astrology, it's at 98%. I mean, I think this is the highest we've kind of seen, 98%. So it's a really good match based on Western astrology. But that's just the sun sign. You know, it's not all the detail with ascendant and, you know, the moon and uh, Venus and all these things. It's just the sun sign. So it's a simple version of it. So, the, you know, those are compatible. Um, so for Jin Young, there's a little, uh, little caveat here. Um, you know, for the Vedic, I didn't make it purple because it's red, it's below 50. but. There's an, another thing here, uh, another technicality that the Vedic astrology has, and it has to do with uh, Mangalic dosha uh, or not Mangalic. And supposedly in the Vedic, you know, if you're one person is Mangalic, then they shouldn't be with a person that's not Mangalic. Um, and Jin Young, in, I think, in this Vedic astrology is Mangalic. So the, uh, the union is not recommended, uh, even though the compatibility and the percentages are high based on the Vedic, they say, well, it's not going to be a good match for family and health of children and these kinds of things. Um, but it's compatible, and it adds up to, uh, for Jin Young and Jenny Kim, 72%. So 72% and seven points, seven total points. So that's number three. That's the third top. So if we go to number two, you ready? Here's the runner-up. And this is uh, an interesting shift. 
because it's an interesting uh, popular group. And it is Sugar. Sugar. Min Yungi. Yeah, the producer. You know? Um, so, you know, Sugar is born in March uh, of 1993. And uh, so he's about three years older than Jenny. Um, I don't know what that's called. What's the ship name for that? Uni? Is it like Uni? <laughs> Min Yungi? So Uni? I don't know. Uh, Min Jen? Jen Min? I don't know what the ship, you tell me if there's a ship name for that. I, I haven't, you know, um, I haven't heard what the ship name is, but let's look at the numbers. So, for the numerology, it's 82%, two points, almost three points. For the Batsu, it's 72%, so that's another point. And if you look at the Vedic, it squeaks over 50%, so it's another point. And then if you look at the uh, Western astrology, uh, it's at 96%. I mean, I don't know if this is true. I mean, if I agree with this, you know, because this is kind of a, I think it's a Pisces Capricorn. But I kind of opposites attract, I guess. You know, you got the Pisces, the dreamy Pisces that's sensitive and emotional, and then you got the Capricorn that's practical and hardworking. I don't know. Either you're going to hate each other or you're going to love each other, you know. So, I don't know. Um, but let's see what the total is. That totals out to 75% match. Uh, and seven points, seven point five percent compatibility, and seven points as the number two. And then you ready for number one? The number one com most compatible uh, ship for Jenny Kim. It's also from a very popular group, and uh, I like both these people a lot. They're kind of my biases for each group a little bit. I mean, I like I like them all, but. You know, if I really had to, somebody forced me to pick and choose, I'd probably say Jenny is, you know, my bias for um, Blackpink, and this this person is my bias for BTS, Kim Namjoon, RM, Rapmon, Rap Monster. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, like I said before, we did a reading for him, and I like his intelligence and his talent, of course, but. Uh, yeah, are you surprised? This is like the top ship out of these 13. Uh, so let's look at the numbers. So for numerology, it's 87%, three points. And then if you look at the Batsu, it's still above 50%, it's 57%, so that's another point. And if you look at the Vedic, this is very, uh, very high. This is the highest one we've had, I think. It's 88%, 88%, so that's three points. Wow. For the Western astrology, it's 94%. 94%, he's a Virgo too. Uh, another three points. So wow, this really uh, adds up to a very high total uh, into the 80% um, and has a total of 10 points. Uh, but there's a problem. There's a problem here. Um, and the problem is that I mentioned um, for um, Jin Young, about this technicality for Vedic, uh, Mangalic Dosha. Well, RM has that same same thing, Mangalic Dosha. So he's Mangalic, she's not. So under the Vedic, they would say, well, we don't recommend the match unless there's a lot of compelling evidence. RM, RM, Jenny Kim, you know, they both rap, you know, they both dance, uh, they're both intelligent. Uh, not a bad couple. Maybe not your favorite ship, but they're pretty compatible, uh, you know, except for this little Vedic category technicality. It's over 80% and it's 10 points, so it's you know, quite a bit better. You know, the next highest one is seven points and 75%, 75%, so it's dramatically higher for RM and Jenny Kim. You surprised? Army, what do you think? Blinks, what do you think? You see them together? Did you, ever, did any of, the, any of you stands out there? that uh, saw that combination? Uh, you know, write some comments, let me know. So anyway, that's the top 13 compa most compatible ships of the ones we picked for Jenny Kim. And so until next time, you know, like, subscribe, ring the bell, put on social media, share it. Um, and if you have, a, if you have a, your favorite idol that you wanna see if you're compatible with them, um, then um, just you know write in the comments that you know give us your hour of birth the, the month uh, the day the month the year 
the city, the country, and we can kind of look at one of these systems and see, you know, how you're compatible with your favorite idol. And we'll put that in your comments uh, and, and do that for you. So, but you have to like and subscribe first because I can't do this for everybody. So, like and subscribe. You know, tell us who you want to uh, see your compatibility with, who's your idol, and give us all that birth information. And we'll answer you back uh, as best we can, as soon as we can. All right. Until next time, wish you all good fortune. Hey, what's up, seekers? Looking in the future, peekers. You keep our breakers coming round and see us every weekers. Yo, diehard K-pop fans, I want to know your stands. Just let us know your bias, then go ahead, try us.